Hello Skerrick and welcome to my Cup Scare soon today guys. We'll be talking about Below the Border Requirement 2 and we're going to talk, you need to select the project, you need to plan it, and then you need to choose your type of wood. So for, what it means by um, you need to select your project is you want to do something with it, like a gift, you want to do something that you want to play with or uh, just as something useful and then that is, and then next you need to um, you need to do, your, you need to plan it, or draw, or use your in instructions just like I did in the last video. As if you, I use the graph, I would use the graph paper to um, do something. This is some things that my dad has drawn, and he brought, he drew it, and then he brought it out to the workshop, and then he started to draw, and then, at, and when you, and, also, when you like, when you're doing the instructions, some carpenters say you need to read twice, and then some carpenters say you need to read twice, cut once, and then the instructions are kind of just like maps. Like you, you know how the maps have when you go hiking, they have the, well, they tell you the what trail, and then they have like where the water is and all of that, and where all the hike, the one the camping. Um, sites all. It's kind of like instructions. It's like telling you places to go. So like. guys, I decided what piece of um what I want to draw, and I'm gonna draw a book in. Uh, this is uh, I'm gonna do something useful, and it's gonna get be a gift to my sister. What you're gonna need is a piece of graphing paper. You're gonna need a ruler. You're gonna need a pencil or a mechanical pencil. Don't use a pen or and a eraser. So I'm gonna set my ruler down. And then I'm going to draw it. Why you want to draw a plan is to, um, so when you go out to the workshop, you can um, do it just right instead of just making a mistake. So you want to you want to draw it, and then you can start building it. And while you draw, you want to use the ruler so you can use the um, straight lines. So you need to line it up, and then you can draw. So guys, I just finished drawing my plan, and now I need to put some dimensions on it. So I'm going to draw a line there, and then I'm just going to draw a line all the way down here. Then I need, I think I want it four inches, so I'm going to put a four and then two lines up there. That means there are, it is four inches. Now we're going to go in the workshop, and we're going to go select our type of wood and our type of tool. So let's go. So now guys, we're in the workshop, and we're going to pick out some types of wood. And there are some rare ones, like I used to live in Hawaii, and I'll show you them. This one is a koa wood, and it's rare, and this one's, you can only find the koa ones in Hawaii. Like, some states only have a sort of wood that you can only find in most states. This one, it looks like a tiger pattern, as you can see if you tilt it back and forth in the um, lights. Doesn't that look pretty cool? Um, these are also some fair ones, the cherry wood, the great oak, and the black walnut wood. And if when you want to build, you want to grab like a hard one instead of just like a soft one. You want to grab like the cherry one, the oak, the, um, this one, and the, the um, black wood. So guys, check what, um, what's available to you. And the hard wood's um, hard to cut, and it's really... Um, strong and sturdy and you can use the soft wood it's easy to cut and but it's not strong and sturdy so check what's available what wood you can find if you don't want to buy wood you can just find some that are uh, uh, trash and you can um, turn into a project you can use it useful play with it or uh, give it as a gift and hope you guys did enjoy my video please like it please subscribe and guys i see you all in the next video